This is our Brillhart pump station that was built in 1896. We still have one of, not the original, but a, a very old steam pump still here. Uh, it was built in 1925. It's a cross compound steam pump. And it's kind of the sister, although not an identical sister, um, to the pump that is now being installed in the National Industrial Museum in Bethlehem. It's a really an antique. It's one of the rare places where they use a steam engine for pumping work. It's quite a quite a contraption when it's running in. Everything moves. <laughs> I mean, going up and down, sideways, or whatever, you know. It's a lot of clanking, clanking and clunking, you know, but nothing, nothing going on here. Nothing disturbing. That giant pump uh, pumped about 8 million gallons a day, which in uh, let's say the average of its life from uh, 1930, our average day demand for the city of York was 8 million gallons a day. So that one pump pumped enough water for the day, took 15,000 pounds of coal to pump that 8 million gallons. Gravity feed oil and oil on it, clogged up, and nobody caught it, and it burned out the bearing. And that was quite a job to tear it down out the flywheel. I think that was one that weighed 13 or 14 tons, so that had to be jacked up. Bearing uh, taken out, and they, they had to re pour them like lead, you know, pour them in a mold. That, that's a couple of weeks' job. In fact, I don't think it ever got running right after that. It, it was a mess. <laughs>